So my journey into educational technology started in 2002 when I was doing my Bachelor of Education and my program had quite a bit of emphasis on websites and um, educational technology. And as part of my practice, I actually uh, set up a club for uh, 11 year old girls, uh, teaching them how to create their own websites. So that was a lot of fun. We were using Netscape Composer, which was very popular at the time, as a very simple web editing tool. And uh, it was really neat um, getting young girls interested into technology, computers, and web development and web design. And that was probably when my interest in educational technology really started to develop. So soon after finishing my teaching degree, I started my master's in educational technology, um, which was actually an online program. So I was a fully online student for the first time, and that was really neat, um, experiencing online learning at the same time learning about educational technology. So during that time, I also started my first job at a local university, and that was editing educational videos. So that was in the mid 2000s, and uh, when videos were starting to become um, quite popular at universities. And soon after that, I started um, to be more involved in the learning management system. And at that time, we were using WebCT uh, as the LMS, and um, I was training instructors how to use the various tools in the learning management system. When I finished my master's, I became an instructional designer, and I started designing and developing a lot of fully online courses. And um, during that time, I had a little bit of a double an exploration into um, virtual worlds, and uh, Second Life um, was one of them. Um, about 2007, that's when the virtual worlds were starting to gain a lot of interest and popularity and universities were purchasing islands on Second Life and I was really interested to see how they could be used to um, engage students and give them an opportunity to have a virtual field trip to places they wouldn't otherwise be able to go. Uh, so um, that was fun, um, that little dabble um, for a little, short period of time. And in 2008, I started my doctorate in education. And uh, no surprise, if you're still watching this video, that my doctorate was on uh, online education and distance education, um, given that was my interest. And my topic in particular for my research was on the technology adoption of foreign language instructors. And my investigation um, essentially revealed that their professional social networks played a large role in their technology adoption or lack of, um, as well as the ease of use and the usability of the technology. And it was um, probably when I finished my doctorate in 2012 when I started to gain quite a bit of um, momentum and interest in doing research in educational technology. Um, in 2013, um, I moved from Canada to Australia uh, for my first academic position, and that's when my research um, in educational technology really um, started um, to flourish and my research area was particularly around um, the use of videos in higher education and um, using learning analytics and video analytics techniques in particular. Um, learning analytics started to emerge in 2011, 2012, 2013, started to gain a bit of momentum and I started to have quite a bit of interest around how um, learning analytics um, could help investigate how students best engage with videos, um, how they best learn with videos, whether that was through video annotations or video quiz questions or various other elements, um, but essentially to best be able to position videos in our instructional design um, if we know how students best learn with that and still continuing to research that field. Um, it never ends, um, which is great. and. Um, during that same time, um, around uh, 2014, um, I taught my first MOOC, um, which was uh, on learning to teach online on Coursera, um, which is still running. And um, that was a lot of fun, um, possibly the highlight of my career so far. Um, but um, yeah, essentially that um, we did the MOOC in 2014, and that was uh, soon after when MOOCs were starting to gain um, quite a bit of interest and popularity. I mean, they only really emerged in 2012. And um, since then, essentially, um, I've been designing a lot of online courses. I currently um, oversee the development of fully online courses um, at the University of South Australia. I continue to do research in educational technology and learning analytics and um, the use of videos in the curriculum um, in particular, um, as well as teaching um, online. I'm, I teach learning analytics courses, educational design, that sort of thing. So that, essentially, um, is my journey to date in educational technology.